I wonder if you've ever struggled with mental resistance. Do you like to procrastinate? Do you like to put off till tomorrow the things you know you should be doing today? And then when you do it, you feel rotten about it. You wish you hadn't just gotten out ahead of yourself and done it, and yet somehow you can't seem to do it. Friends, if you've ever struggled with getting in your own way, be it physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, I've got something to share with you today. And I hope this will come as a revelation. I hope this will be a catalyst that sees you springboard into a new season, a higher level, a new day, when all of the things that have been eluding you begin to come to you, where the winds change and begin to fill your sails, to blow in your direction because it's your time, friend. Come and let me tell you all about it. Let's kick into it. Well, hello, wonderful you, and a very warm welcome to Elevate today. I'm Ben, and I am here every day. I never miss a day. In fact, there's something like 1,500 videos on this channel, and we love to talk about this sort of content. Whether it be working with yourself to move through a difficult season, whether it be some counseling or some coaching, some mentorship, we love spirituality, the brain sciences, the subconscious mind, friend, it's all here. So I'm thankful for you for stopping by. I'm thankful for you for helping me lift the collective vibe. Now this message I hope won't take long, but I, I want to unpack this in a way that is clear for you. That's not just easy to understand, but but that is easy for you to digest. It's easy for you to take in this, what I'm about to share with you and actually apply it to your own life because so many of us get in our own way and a lot of us realize it, but so many of us don't. Now, it's very easy to find the evidence of something in the life of someone else rather than ourselves first. So I'm going to invite you while I talk with you about this to let your mind's eye wander to the relationships around about you and see if you can identify these characteristics in any people, in any relationships that you witness in your own life. Sometimes it's as simple as procrastination. Sometimes it's as complex as a web of lies we have told ourselves for so long simply to put something off. Now, I do lots of coaching and consulting work, and I do in that, I do a lot of professional consulting. And sometimes, sometimes I do professional consulting in the sales field, and I talk with salespeople and sales managers all the time about leading a winning team and what it looks like to lead from the front. And do you know one of the biggest things I find that salespeople struggle with is picking up the phone and connecting with people talking with people, there's just some sort of thing. So they will fill their days with all sorts of administration and things that don't actually need doing and they blow them out of proportion and say, this is really important, I've got to focus on this. All the while they are churning time and losing opportunity and they don't even realise it. I wonder where the areas in your life are where you put off to tomorrow the things that should be done today. And we all know that when we do this, when we procrastinate, when we get in our own way, when we have these mental blocks that won't allow us to see past where we are and into a brighter tomorrow, we begin to focus on it. And so in doing that, we expand it until all we see is the problem, not the solution. Where all we see is the procrastination and the downtrodden feeling that leaves us rather than the liberty and the freedom we find in moving forward. But see, you can break mental resistance. And it doesn't matter whether it has to do with schoolwork and assignments and study and coaching. It doesn't matter whether it is some sort of professional goal or target. It doesn't matter whether it's a KPI that your boss has set you, a mandate that has come from above you have to fulfill and you just can't see a way. Friend, I'm here to tell you there is a way. And it's simple. And it's easy. And all you have to do is to get into alignment with a universal principle. See, the universe that we live in interacts with us and us with it in a, very, in a very organized framework. There are laws to the interaction of the universe. 
The tide doesn't go out and then go out again. No, it goes out and comes in and goes out and comes in and it does the same thing and it has done and it will keep doing so. The cycles stay the same. Friends, the universe is very organized in its framework and when you know how to get inside of that framework, your life becomes organized and you don't have to struggle for it. There is a universal law. It's called the law of correspondence. I like to refer to it as the law of flow. Because when you talk to people about something called the law of correspondence, initially what they think is, oh, is this some law that has to do with incoming and outgoing mail? No, it's not that sort of correspondence. The law of flow is exactly about that. It's about the flow and it recognises that the things you focus on expand. This is why I say to you all the time, be careful in the place you put your attention because wherever you place your attention, you place your energy. And where you put the focus of that, you begin to expand it. If you start thinking about problems, pretty soon that's all you'll see. If you start thinking about dreams, pretty soon that's all you will see. But you've got to be responsible with this. Most of us let ourselves run away with the bad end, the raw end, the bad deal. What we need to be doing is coming into alignment with this law of flow and recognising that wherever we see resistance, wherever we feel it within ourselves, whether it is in procrastination, whether it is in something in our professional development, something in our career, whether it's something in our relationship, we just... We can't talk to them about that, or we can't get past this, or we can't get through that. Wherever there is mental resistance, wherever you feel like you are hitting the glass ceiling in and of yourself and you just can't break through that thing, that resistance is just there to point you towards the law of flow. It's simply there to show you, hey, there is resistance where there should be flow. So how do you shift from the energy of resistance to the energy of flow? You simply let go. Resistance only comes when you're holding on to something that doesn't serve you in this season. Now you think about this. Resistance only comes when you are holding on to something in this season. Think about it, friend. Let's look at the professional example. Your boss comes to you and sets you some new KPIs and you've got to make a certain amount of calls in a day. And you think to yourself, oh man, I've hit a mental... Uh, blockade here, blockade here, a big barricade, I, I, I I'm feeling the resistance here. What you're feeling, the resistance, shows you where you are not in flow. So how do you get in flow? You just release. You just say, you know what, I don't need to fear making these phone calls, I just need to make these phone calls. When you find something in your life and you feel resistance, whether it's in letting go of a relationship, whether it's in handing over something to someone, whether it's in opening yourself up for something good, whether it's in letting go of some hurt, maybe it's in getting rid of some resentment or grudges you've held on to for far too long, maybe it's in forgiving someone, and you feel resistance and the human comes up with all the reasons why you should harbour that unforgiveness, why you should sit in the pocket of that resentment. But don't you listen to the human. Listen to your spirit. See, this is the reason you feel resistance. It's just your spirit identifying for you where you have come out of flow. You hop back into flow by being obedient to the spirit. Just let go. Just release. It's so much easier. You feel so good. It's time to step into flow. You can break mental resistance in two minutes. See, everything inside of your body has a chemical signature. You feel by way of the chemistry that's coursing through your veins. The refractory period for a chemical response in your body, that's a shift in feeling from happy to sad, from up to down, from joy to frustration, from love to resentment, from happiness to bitterness. When you shift a feeling state around inside you, it is because chemistry is changing inside of you. The refractory period of the chemical reaction inside of you that shifts a feeling is about 90 to 120 seconds. So when something comes along in the outer world and it knocks you, it bowls you over, it flattens you, you know that sometimes you get that feeling, you get some news, someone says something to you and it just floors you. What we all have a tendency of doing is sitting in the pocket of that all the day long. 
But those chemis that, that chemistry is gone from our body in two minutes or less if we allow it to flow through us. What we all do is we focus on it, we focus on the offense, the hurt, the resentment, the bitterness, whatever it is that triggered us, and we start telling all the stories around it and we start escalating ourselves about it and we keep producing more of the same chemistry. Two minutes of intentional thinking is all it takes. When something triggers you, when you get stuck in a rut, when you find yourself stuck in a moment. Now, wasn't that a great song? Was it you too who had that song stuck in a moment? I think Bono wrote that about Michael Hutchins. That's a great song. When you find yourself stuck in a moment, recognize it's chemistry. Chemistry leaves your body in two minutes or less when you focus on moving forward. That's your part of the job. That is your spiritual work for the next little while. When something triggers you, focus for two minutes on coming back into flow and ease and abundance. When there is some resistance, focus on feeling good just for two minutes. Flush that chemistry through your body and you will come out on top of this thing. Now, I love you, friend. I hope this has encouraged and blessed you. Make sure you share it around, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see your smiling face tomorrow.